What's up, Jabroni Simi here? Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into Supernatural season number four, episode number 10, Heaven and Hell. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction if you want extra episodes early. If you don't, that's cool. You can get them full reaction over there if you want them. Um, but if not, you can wait here to the episode show up. Um, which is interestingly, uh, at, at the point of me recording this, an episode got blocked, which has never really happened with Supernatural. They usually claim they never block, but they blocked today's episode for some reason, and I have to look into that. Um, but yeah, we're going to hop in here. Last episode, I thought it was a pretty good episode. We got introduced to this new character, uh, this girl, which I don't remember her name. I think I started with an A. I could be wrong. Yeah, Anna, her name. Uh, and uh, she, yeah, she's somebody who can sp hear the uh, angels' conversations, and of course, means that she is somebody that the demons really want and the angels at the end say yeah we got to kill her because uh the demons really want her and they could use her as a pretty much a telephone <laughs> or not even a telephone they'll use her as uh like if all of our conversations are bugged so yeah now we're in a situation where dean and sam are gonna have to figure out or uh, fight and ruby are gonna have to fight figure out how we're gonna stop the angels from killing her and also the last episode when Sam told Dean about him and Ruby, you know, having some intimacy together <laughs> and getting, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what they did. Uh, but yeah, we're going to hop in here. Have a good time. So let's hop into the episode. Pretty much. Here we go. Thomas, you two? What is deep? Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Oh, my God. We're fighting angels, dude. Yes. Stop. Please. <laughs> What the hell did you do? I did it. Well, now she, now we know she's evil, so... See what you can find out. What are you gonna do? Anna may have sent the angels to the outfield, but sooner or later they're gonna be back. Angels to the outfield. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it'd be really cool if Sam and Ruby become like an item and they, you know, get a family together and, you know, create all these well, little demon babies. Radio, it'd be interesting. It's quiet. Dean would have to be uncle to. Is he working a job? God, I hope so. Otherwise, he's at hedonism in a banana hammock and a truck. <laughs> no, that's good, my friend. <laughs> well, what'd you find on Anna? Uh, not much. Her parents. I feel like she's the. I feel like her real father is probably like a god, like God or maybe a demon, maybe the devil. Maybe she turns out she is the yellow-eyed demon's daughter. I don't know. She's she's super calm. Remember what? He's gonna kill her. Who I am. I'll bite. Who are you? I'm an angel. She had no idea how right she was. So you just forgot that you were God's little power ranger? The older I got, <laughs> the longer I was human, yeah. I don't think you all appreciate how completely screwed we are. Ruby's right. Her being an angel is interesting. Did she say why she tore out her grace? Sam, will I get home okay? Here we go. Why would you fall? Why would you want to be one of us? You don't mean that. I don't. A bunch of uh, miserable... You know how many angels have actually seen God? Seen his face? All of you? Four angels. Whoa. Four. Everybody else just... And I'm not one of them. Everybody else just has That's to it. listen? So she said, the, those angels are going to come back pissed. They're going to come back very angry. <laughs> or a penthouse forum letter. Dude, reality. Porn. <laughs> you call this reality? <laughs> Dean, Dean's always thinking about sex. Not really. What happens when she gets it back? What, what, would, what would stop the angels from wanting to kill her anyway? Just because she has her grace doesn't mean they won't want to kill her. Not anymore. Someone took it. 
know by midnight, or... Or what? Or we hurled him back to damnation. Ooh, shit. Fuck. Yeah, yeah killing an angel ain't the answer. Also, me going back to hell ain't the answer, man. We gotta hey. figure that out. Okay. We're, we're believing her, but what if she's bullshitting? A little scared, I guess. Really? I mean, I was kind of joke. Okay, this is this is weird and random. <laughs> this is like lingering. Who did you call? Hello, Ruby. Oh, fuck. I have to say. See, she got her grace back. A full-blown angel now. <laughs> that would be a neat trick, considering. You have it. I have her grace right here. Oh shit. She can't let hell get. You cut yourself a slice of angel food cake. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> Why would Ruby put herself in this situation? I say, this knife of yours, it's an exquisite. If I can finish up with this gas, the angel business, and return Why is she naked? Tonight. What is he doing to her? This seems awfully... But no rush. Let's take our time. What's he actually doing to her? Ugh. The idea of that is just fuck. I don't know, creepy, man. Yeah. Where's Ruby? Hey, she's your hell, buddy. Hey, boys, what's up? How'd you find us? Oh, you told him. Because they gave him a choice. They either kill me or kill you. Oh, shit. You did the best you could. The, I forgive you. How the demon will get here? Maybe a fight? Don't you touch there her we go. Yep. on that poor girl's head. The dude sounds like he sounds like the Godfather. It's crazy, yo. He's like, <laughs> it's a regular, it's a regular fight. Sorry, kiddo. Why don't you go run to daddy? Oh shit. What the fuck's he doing now? Yo, buddy, hurry up and do what you gotta do. He's gonna, he's gonna die trying to save them. What does she do? What the hell? What are you guys waiting for? She's gonna go get Anna. Unless, of course, you're scared. This isn't over. Oh, it looks over to me, Junkless. <laughs> why are why are they? They are scared. But she is like their quote unquote boss or whatever, so okay? she's they sliced and carved. And tore me in ways that you. Until there was nothing left. Yeah, but why wouldn't the angels, when they bring you back, take that out of your mind? You and know what I mean? Suddenly, I would be whole again. Hmm. For 30 years, I told him. You couldn't. But then I couldn't do it anymore, Sammy. Count how many souls? And he's so good at the emotional stuff. What's this? 
rough, yo. Things that I did to them. This. Inside me. I wish I couldn't feel anything, Sammy. You must see it. I wonder if that's what he sees now, like the. I wonder if that's what he sees, because you know how like we were getting like these flashes of him seeing like, like the like the eyes and blood and stuff, and I always assumed that that was him being tortured. Maybe that's not what he sees. Maybe what he sees is all the people that he tortured. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he sees that, but I'm thinking those flashbacks are that, with all like glimpses of him, are that. That's why. He, so that's why he doesn't want to talk about it even more, right? It's not just like he was tortured. It said he had to become a torturer. That's that's rough. That is. Ooh, that's crazy. Um. All right. Well, that was episode number ten. Um. I thought that was a pretty good episode. I'd probably give the episode probably like a seven eight range in that range. I think. Um. The angel stuff, although cool, I didn't really care too much about it with uh, Anna. Like, I think the I think the concept of her is cool. Dean and her sleeping together, I guess that makes sense, you know. He's gonna she knows she's probably gonna die or get sent back or get caught or whatever. So why not, you know, get your last thrills on Earth before you get sent to, to where you're going? But I don't know. The Ruby stuff was hard to watch. It was fucking uh, I don't I mean Ruby had to know like why did Ruby not just right out the gate give it up? Why did she put herself through torture? Does she need to buy some time, maybe? Does she put herself through torture to buy enough time to get sent back? I guess that makes, to go to take him to the girl. Also, Anna, like, I wonder where she went. Wherever she went, she took the demon guy with her. Uh, but we'll break down the episode. Um, I don't know if there's going to be too much to break down, honestly. Uh, I mean, the angels are kind of douches. A little bit douchey. They are brutal of what they want. Um, and then, so you know they're gonna go take Anna. They're, they're, they 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 try to fight him off. It doesn't work. And right when they're about to get her, she sends them somewhere. So at one point, I'm like, I would be questioning, I'm like, are we? Is she bad? Is she evil? Is that what we're doing? Protect somebody evil? But we're not. Uh, we take her to the bomb shelter. Uh, Bobby's bomb shelter thing. Uh, we call the one girl at one point here. Okay, so we're looking into history about who she is. Um, find out some some small things about her Purple right here. Anytime her dad got close. Yeah, the dad thing, right? So she had a freak out. Then we we get the blind girl, the blind lady that she, I thought, like I said, I said I mentioned during the reaction when the episode when she becomes blind is so it's like so it was so shocking. I was like, what the fuck? It came out of nowhere. Um, uh, but yeah, so she comes here. She's gonna try to talk to you know put um put Anna under try to figure out what's you know where the hell. What happened to her in her past while we're doing that she starts to freak out she starts to scream starts to lose her damn mind lights everywhere at this point i'm i'm on the side of oh she must be a demon i thought she was gonna say oh i'm satan's i'm satan's daughter or my dad is lucifer or something along those lines um which is not she says she remembers she is an angel she is an angel who left heaven for reasons that we don't know at this point i mean we do know by the end of the episode but at this point in the episode we don't know uh, she gave away her grace and she fell. Now, when she fell, fell into the soul, uh, curse, into the soul, uh, to a baby. I don't know how that works, right? Because she was falling as a grown angel, and her soul went to a baby, and then she's grown up ever since. I guess Ruby's freaking out. She's not down for this. Um, Sam's look doing some research uh, about where her grace might be, and we see two instances where. Um, two, like a two meteors hit, so Sam assumes it's, it's at um, one of those. The first one, of course, would be her. The second one would be um uh, her grace. Now, I thought the I thought the in the conversation here about why she gave up her grace. You know, she wanted free will. She wanted she wanted to. She she was here for how many years? She said she's at two thousand or two hundred years watching humans and. She wanted to be it like she wanted to have their freedom have their not f this blind faith or have to obey somebody you've never actually met 
wanted to live that life, so she gave it up to be a human. I mean, she mentioned sex, which is like, I guess it's meant to just be like a funny kind of thing. Um, but even, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, you would want sex, I guess, too. Makes sense. Uh, I don't, I get the concept of her banging Dean, right? End of the world, you're going to die, let's have some sex. It is also, it's a little bit, I don't know. I don't know how I feel fully about it. Oh, wait, this isn't what we tell her? Everything? Killed if we don't have. There we go, yeah, the whole, if you don't have faith, they'll kill you. So then we're heading over to where her grace might be. We do some jokes about, you know, a demon and a, a demon and an angel in the back seat. Of course, Dean mentions some porn. Uh, the grace is gone. Uh, this is when they lead to sex. When they, what's the conversation here about? Oh yeah, about demon about De uh, Dean's past, right? He knows about his past, and you know, have some hanky panky. Go down. Ruby sees Sam. Then she goes and calls Alistair. Alistair sounds like he's from the mob. <laughs> he has like Marlon Brando style speaking. We then try to torture Ruby. While that's happening, the angel I, Dean has a dream of the angel guy, and the guy's like, "We're gonna send, we'll send you back," and Dean's like, "We'll send me back." And we're just oh, Ruby's just being tortured. Why would you do this, Ruby? Could have been another way to buy some time. <laughs> uh, then we get here. Dean's drinking. Angels show up. It's about to be a fight. Um, right when it's about to go, Alistair shows up and brawl happens. Not as cool of a brawl. It is literally just a brawl. I thought it was going to be some superpowers throwing of shit or something. It is literally just fisticuffs. Let's go, guys. Um, and then ultimately we, we trust them and we send ourselves back. So at one point, Castillo tries to do it to Alistair and Alistair says, go run home to daddy or something. So the Alistair is way stronger than this dude. And I wonder if Castell is one of the angels. Now he couldn't be one. He couldn't be one of the angels that saw, uh, that has seen God. Because uh, Anna's above him or was above him and she never met God. Um, Let's see. Uh, Anna grabs her thing off the necklace of the guy. The, the, she takes the one demon with, with us. And... Conversation here before these guys leave. Oh, it looks over to me, Jungler. Yeah, the over thing. Then they leave. Um, then we have just a really amazing, emotionally, like emotional acting scene here, where he's talking about how he tried to hold he he was tortured for thirty years. Time moves differently down there. He was tortured for thirty years, and every day, um, Alistair would ask him to become a torturer. And you won't we'll take you off the rack. For 30 years, he was able to do that. But he wasn't able to do it after that. And he tortured and he ripped people up, people's souls apart. And that's been eating at him for the entire season. And that's the episode. I mean, that's how the episode ends. I thought it was a really solid, really great acting here. Um, I thought the, the um, other stuff was kind of okay. I thought I'm leaning on a seven. I thought the I think the angel concept is very cool. Uh, the execution of it was fine. I thought it was pretty good too. I think this acting here, right here at the moment, is why I'm like it, it's like so good. He's so good at the emotional stuff that I'm like, you know, you got to give the episode even more props because of that. Um, but yeah, that's the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon if you want full reactions, uncut, unedited. Uh, but I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna talk to you guys later.